This is the best Chrome extensions for developers in 2021. So the first Chrome extension we're going to be talking about is what fonts. So what font does exactly what it sounds like. It just tells you what font a certain text or page is using. So you just click on the extension up here. You can download it from the Chrome Web Store. Click on what font. Go over here, drag over any piece of text, and it tells you exactly what the font is. There is a disclaimer, though. It can't tell you the font for images, but if you click on normal text while the what font extension is enabled, and you click, it's going to show you the font family, the line height, the size, and all the information about that piece of text. All right, coming in at number two is Colorzilla. So Colorzilla is just a simple way to grab a pixel or a certain color from a page and see what color that is. So all you have to do is click on the extension, do pick color from page, and you can drag over any piece of color. Let's just say I want that red from the Apple page. Click on that, and it automatically copies the hex code to my clipboard. Uh, there's a lot of extensions like this on the Chrome Web Store. Uh, Colorzilla is just one of them, but uh, Colorzilla is probably the best one I've tried out of the ones I have tried. If there is any better ones, uh, let me know in the comments. But out of the ones I have tried, Colorzilla has performed the best. Uh, another thing you can do with Colorzilla is you can just pick a certain color. So the color that I just selected is here. And let's just say it's a bit too light for me, so I want to make it a bit darker. So I just drag it, and I pick that one, and I can copy the hex code. All right, my third extension that I'm going to be showing you today is What Runs. So What Runs basically just tells you what runs a page. So you just click on the extension up here. And it says what runs a page. So for Apple, for the Apple website, it uses AngularJS, MomentJS, and for the JavaScript graphics, it uses D3. Now, another disclaimer on this one is that on some websites, it doesn't work because of security settings. So, for example, on Instagram, it doesn't show anything. On Twitter, it shows something, but most of the information is hidden. So it only works on certain websites, but this is still good to see what the market is and what most websites use. All right, so the next extension we're going to be talking about is called CSS Viewer. So CSS Viewer is uh, just a way to view the CSS of any element in the page. So you just click on the extension, you drag over any element, and it shows you all the information about that element. So let's just say I want the information about this iPhone 12. So it's going to tell me the font family, the font size, the color, the height, the width, and more. All right. Probably the most useful extension I'm going to be showing you today is Grepper. Grepper is a really easy way to just ask any question about most coding topics and it's going to automatically come up with an answer. So let's just say I want to know how to make a semicircle in CSS. Automatically, the first thing I see is a Grepper answer. So this Grepper answer just shows the CSS code for a div and what you need to do to make a semicircle. I can add my own grepper answer, or if I find one that's already pretty good, I can just upvote it. And you can ask questions about JavaScript, CSS, and basically any language. Although for specific questions like why I got this error or something, it might not have the answers. Although you can add an answer if you think that it might help people. So for our fifth extension, we're going to be talking about WebMaker. So WebMaker is an easy way to type in any HTML, CSS, or JavaScript offline or online, and all on the click of a button. So this might seem kind of useless since you can just open up your code editor, but if you're offline or you just want to type some really quick code, for example, you just learned how to make a semicircle, you can just click on the extension. It's going to automatically come up a page with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's all already linked, and you can type in any code you want. So this is code I already made before, and this is how you make a semicircle. And let's just say I want to change this color to blue. It automatically changes it. I can make this violet. It automatically changes it. All right, so lastly, we have one of the most interesting extensions, and this one is called Amino. So Amino is a way to edit the CSS of any website you see. So I'm just going to click on the extension, and I'm going to erase my previous code. So I'm going to click Inspect Elements. And I'm going to go over any element on the page. And as I go over any element, it's going to tell me the class name that is being used for each of these elements. So I want to take this home tag and I want to change the color of it. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go over to the Amino extension. I'm going to copy in that class name. And I want to change the color to orange. And I click Save. And I'm going to turn on the switch to see my changes update lifetime and it automatically switches the color and the cool thing about this is even if i refresh the page 
the changes still stay. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.